this time I'd like to invite to this podium the artist and sculptor, Rob Gerardola. When I uh, finished sculpting a piece, I sat down and wrote these words, inspired by the spirit of these four men, still in my heart. A person is what they do, no more and no less. A person can become what they admire. I was at work on that day. I heard the towers had collapsed, and I ran home. I was 80 miles away from the danger, and I ran home. I put on the television. I watched as my head swam. Fear, confusion, anger, frustration, and sadness. I waited impatiently for my family to come home. And when they did, we hugged, and we cried, and we watched the television and waited to see if other braver men and women would make things right in the world again. We're here to honor four such men. Lieutenant Thomas O'Hagan, Firefighter William Johnston, Firefighter Thomas Holohan, Firefighter Paul Byer. All of the 343 active duty firefighters to have lost their lives that day, and all of the brave men and women who put fear aside and chose to make things right again, I deeply admire you. In order to create this piece, I listened to the stories of the men of Engine 6. I read the letters their loved ones wrote. And I watched that day unfold again and again. And amidst the clouds of pulverized concrete and glass, an image emerged. I saw fallen heroes and the walking wounded. I saw men and women who spent their days hoping and praying, digging, searching, thinking, sweating, tearing, and more hoping, praying. I saw lives ruined and families rocked, and whole communities racked with sorrow. And I saw men and women who chose to do something about it. I asked Billy Green, the only man from Engine 6 to make it out of the North Tower, what were you most proud of that day? And he said, we stood fast. In the face of overwhelming destruction, when a nation sat in dumbstruck fear, these men stood fast and then proceeded up the stairs to put out that fire. Over 30 flights of stairs, turnout coats, soaring temperatures, tools, roll-ups. I asked Billy, how did you guys go on? And he said, well, we kind of drew strength from each other. These men may not have been perfect, but they became perfect at that moment and in that hour. And it was this strength that transcended the darkness and the evil that was transpiring above them. I have read of firefighters despairing that they themselves did not save enough or very little. And to you, my brothers, I must say, your mere presence brought comfort to those in the last moments of their lives. You inspire in the minds and hearts of those around you an idea. The idea that you may not be perfect, but you will try to be. 
that you may not be able to save, but you will try to save. For in the end, all of the men and women who choose to save, and these four men, Lieutenant Tom O'Hagan, Firefighter Billy Johnston, Firefighter Tommy Hollihan, Firefighter Polly Byer, you bring the promise of hope. You draw strength from each other. May we draw on that strength so that we might have the courage to do what we should do in the hour of our calling.